Welcome again, family. And this is how you, the customer, is going to avoid solar scams. Today, I decided to just give you a little, a little short, a little short lesson. The topic today is how to avoid solar scams. Because unfortunately, there are a lot of people getting into solar and they pretty much using the solar industry to scam customers. I put together a list of tried and true ways to avoid this. We are at Essential Solar Headquarters. This is where we keep all of our inventory. So this brings me to the number one thing to look out for. Ensure that your solar installers or whoever you're buying the solar equipment from have the inventory on hand. When I'm buying appliances or anything, I will ask to go and look at your inventory. I don't play around. I'll call it my goods same day. I have trucks. So I'll do that to avoid a scam. What you, a customer who may not have a truck, may want to do is to ask to take a look at the warehouse. If you come to, come to Essential Solar, we love to give you a tour. Because we, we actually run solar at our place store, so we love to even show you that, hey, we don't, you know, sir, we don't play light bill over here. One of the main reasons why you'd want to make sure that in, they have everything in stock. If you don't have it in stock, you don't really know the true price. So they might invite you for a price. And then when they go and try to solicit the goods, they find out that the price is different. Because prices do change, my friends. To avoid having price discrepancies and so, make sure that the goods is in stock. You don't want the delays. You don't want to hear that, oh, you know, next month, you know, it will take a month to come, we'll order it, and it's going to take a month to come, and it's a huge delay. And time is money. So if you wait in two months, that's two months of light bill that you are going to be paying, and that if you did do business with somebody who have the inventory, you wouldn't have to pay those two months of light bill. So those two months of light bill is extra money down the drain, is extra cost to you, the customer. If you're dealing with somebody, a, a solar um, company, that's going to delay your installations. And another thing that's pretty much associated with the, the inventory is to ask, you know, when can I expect delivery? One of the things that you might want to look out for is if the company has their own vehicles. If you're in a rush to get your, um, your goods delivered and installed, and they don't have their own vehicles, then they might have challenges when it comes to logistics, getting the goods to you. You need to ask, when can I expect delivery? Or when are you able to deliver? I can tell you at Essential Solar, we, we can deliver same time. We can deliver the next day. Now remember, delivery is different than installation. Delivery is easy for us, but installation is a technical process and you know, it will take longer. But if you want your goods the next day, we deliver it the next day or even the same time as you come here and make your payment, we deliver it. It's important to pay attention to how it is that the business, you know, who you're doing business with, how is it that they function. So number two in ways to avoid solar scams is to assess the warranty for different products. So there's, there's two things when it comes to warranty. There's a factory warranty. There's a warranty that maybe the, the solar um, supplier might be providing to you. And there, there's a relationship between the two. So one of the things that you have to watch out for is, is your solar company an, an authorized distributor? Do they have the knowledgeable staff, engineers, who are in proper contact with the manufacturers? Let me, let me give you an example. Here at Essential Solar, we give you a one-year warranty. You buy your, in, you have your inverter and it's giving you trouble or whatever. Let's say that happens. It hardly happens, like, why? Um, next to never. Oh, it's giving trouble. It might be a software issue. We quickly assess that. And within a week, we resolve the problem. Even if it requires a replacement of the whole entire product. Now I can tell you this, no factory offers this. So a factory warranty doesn't cover you like this. The manufacturer will supply parts and you'll have to sit and wait on parts. But there's a difference, right? Between the two types of warranties. 
And there's a little gray area because, for example, we, we give you a manufacturer's warranty and because we are humans, we will offer our services to you. We will work with the manufacturer to smooth out the warranty claims process by giving you something out of inventory because we have the inventory and we will sit and wait on the replacement from the manufacturer. You see how smooth that is? But let's say you're dealing with somebody without inventory. They don't have no, they don't have anything in stock. They don't have anything to fall back on. They have to sit there and wait and, you know, you know, wait until the parts come and then hopefully when they get the parts or whatever, or they wait till the replacement inverter to come or whatever. You're looking at a three month wait time in most cases. This is most manufacturers are in China. Yeah, you'll be waiting for three months with your equipment not working and it will be very frustrating for you. So very important to work with co companies that can smooth out the process when it comes to warranty. You, you probably want to stay away from jack of all trade type of um, companies that they have like 20 different types of inverters and 30 different panels and you know different lots of different batteries and so it is much harder to be very knowledgeable about a lot of things a lot of different inverters a lot of different things it's much harder to have a lot of experience with a wide array array of um of equipment than it is to be very experienced and knowledgeable about a, a short list of equipment for example, here at Essential Solar, right now, we sell two different types of inverters, different sizes, but it's the same, it's the same brand, so it's the same, same technical um, requirements. You know, if you understand this, the 8 kilowatt inverter, um, the inverter, you will understand the 12 kilowatt version, for example. So, we sell two options. So one of the things is to look out for companies that specialize in a short list of products and brands, they are more likely to give you a better warranty experience. That leads me to point number three, expertise and experience. Look into the business, how long they've been running for. You can ask how many systems they have put up or customers that they have or, you know, they can give you a bulk, bulk figure of how much business they've done. How long have you been open for? I mean, you know, we've been open for about five years now. So we're, we're, we're a half a decade company at Essential Solar. You know, different companies have different, you know, will give you a different answer. It's up to you to determine what you consider a decent answer. Another question to, to ask is, how long have you been selling this particular product that you put on my invoice? These products, how long have you been selling these products? Because if it's a new product, you can best believe that they have no experience with this product. And when it comes to warranty, getting back to warranty again, it won't be as smooth as if they have been selling a product for the last two, three years, five years, you know, however long. And it, it can be an updated version of the product, but at least it should be the same product, but you know, maybe an updated model, that's fine. It's the same product. Years of expertise with the products. And that is completely different from how many engineers they hire. You want them to just, oh, I've seen this problem before. All right, we know how to solve this problem. Um, it's going to require a, a new power board, for example. And, oh, we have some in stock because we stocked up on them because we expect this problem. In the future, maybe we have a 1%, you know, we book up on this issue. If you don't have experience, you don't know how to manage all this smoothly. A lot of times, you don't get the best warranty experience, not because the company, you know, they are, they are bad people. It's just that they don't have the, the experience, they don't have the, the expertise, and they don't have the resources to take a loss. As in business, you have to be willing to take a loss. Points number two and three are interconnected. The wider variety of products, 
that a company is dealing with, that you know, they offer, reduces the chances of them being experienced and reduces their expertise, the level of expertise when it comes to each product and the support that you will receive when it comes to your warranty. But yeah, man, we're blessed in Jamaica where Essential Solar is not the only company that meets these requirements. Even if you have to buy the goods from one company and then pay somebody to install it, there are companies like that out there that they don't, do, they don't, they don't stock the goods and do installation. But that is a good protection for you. At least you'll, you'll know that you have the goods, right? And as long as they approve of the installer, when it comes to warranty, then your warranty should be intact. But with us, you know, we do everything, so your warranty is definitely intact. Um, you have nothing to worry about. But remember, we're not the only ones. Something that most of us may overlook, but this is quite important because it, it will tell you how the company will function. It's the core mission of the company. What, what, why are they in this business? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing solar? It's a good determinant of whether or not that business will exist in the next five years. If they don't have a good core mission, then they're not going to stick it out. And then, you know, the average core mission of, of bad businesses is usually to make profit. If that is their mission, then your warranty is as good as void. The minute that they, they buck up on a, a, a big challenge, they're going to go out of business. Well, here at Essential Solar, I can tell you our core mission is clean air. We are not going to stop until we clean up the air, starting right here in Kingston, Jamaica. Associated to our core mission is financial freedom through energy independence. But, um, financial freedom can be achieved in many ways. If you get financial freedom through clean air, I mean, geez, what better way to get financial freedom? Now, how would you, how would you know, know this? Well, you have to maybe try to look up written statements from the leadership of the company or even um, videos or, or, or recorded statements from the leadership of the company that you're doing business with. If you're going to spend a lot of money, don't overlook this. So, so a simple question as to ask, oh, who, who owns this business? And then you do a little research, maybe you do a little social media research and you find out what they are about, if there are any written statements from the, the, the owner. Any small amount of research about me in particular, <laughs> you'd realize that I live solar. So solar is my life. A boy who dreamed from the first time I got the first little solar powered watch. I knew this was coming. And here we are today, in 2025. Power everything with solar. In Jamaica, I am not the only founder, CEO, with a decent core mission. I'm not the only one, you know, that is living this life, that understands the mission and how important it is in our little, you know, our little island. Clean air is what I say. Another thing to look out for is the asset base of the company that you're dealing with. That includes their inventory, which we touched on. It includes their equipment. Their in it includes their personnel, you know, how well trained their personnel are, how, how much time have they put into their personnel, it can vehicles if they own any buildings and such. You as a consumer, it's very hard for you to know exactly what their asset base is, but you still want to kind of have a clue. At least you want to have some idea of the actual assets, even though you might not get to know how much debt they're holding, right? Because you know, sometimes to do business, you have to borrow money. To have a clue, you just need to see what, what they got. For example, something as simple as their, the vehicles to manage logistics. Are they aging and not so valuable? It gives you a clue. Some of us may be in a situation where we say, oh, I can save. 5%, 10%, whatever it is. You know, if I just buy it from this little man here or that little man over here, you can get it cheaper because his estimate or his invoice seems smaller. But again, at what cost? Always have to assess the risk that we're taking 
and assess whether or not it is worth the reward. Let's say, you know, you save a thousand US upfront, then what's that going to cost you later? A, re a reasonable inverter is $2,300 well, with us. You lose a thousand dollars quickly if you deal with the wrong people. I really don't want anybody to be scammed because it really looks bad on the industry and this industry is very close to my heart. We at Essential Solar cannot, cannot improve the cleanliness of our air by ourselves. You know, we by ourselves cannot achieve this. So we want all the good companies to, for you guys to do business with all of the true tested and proven solar companies. That is going to add to your experience and it's going to add to your the chances that you're going to recommend solar to your neighbor, to your family members and to, 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 your, to your colleagues. I want you to have a good experience with solar. A good experience, sometimes it may require you spending a little bit more upfront. You're getting a true, truly good product and a product experience when it comes to um, after sales service, right? And warranty. I hope this video helps you to avoid solar scams, helps you to establish which companies are more likely to give you the products and services that you want um, and to avoid the less likely ones. So until next time, take care of yourself.